evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. Our artist for the evening today is Ms. Kanchan Chandra. Painter, printmaker, sculptor, video artist, blogger. Kanchan Chandra exudes versatility engendered from her lived experiences. Child of the 50s, she exhibited an early leaning towards art particularly printmaking, which drew her to the College of Art, New Delhi, and reputed art schools in Berlin and Santiago. Through the 80s, she studied and traveled extensively, having been awarded fellowships in succession by the French government, the Lalit Kala Academy, the Ministry of Human Resources, and the British Council. She also taught at the Delhi College of Art from 1986 till 2005, during which time she honed and developed her own practice, participating in numerous group and solo exhibitions across the country and in Nepal, Australia, and Japan. Analyzing Kanchan Chandra's art, critic Rubina Karode states that the poetics that emerge from her everyday life are translated into visual memory. The artist herself quotes Henry Ward Beecher in her blog, saying, every artist drips his brush in his own soul and paints his own nature into his pictures. And so, significant periods of her personal life, often fraught with pain and torment, find expression in different phases of her artistic journey, where home and the woman become charged sites of multi-layered, often contradictory meanings. At one time, personal griefs are seen transmuted into poignant monochromatic prints of dark brooding images saturated with shadows as she seems to assess human relationships and their transient uneven equations. In many works there is a privileging in an intimate familial way of the solidarity of women and their togetherness. There are also stark portraits of women caught in degrees of mental and emotional disintegration or numbed by emotional breakdowns. The loaded perceptions of the female form, commodified in commercials, valorized through embellishments or denigrated through stereotypical perceptions are questioned in her stainless steel sculptures, her fiberglass combinations of sequins and Swarovski mudras and through her innovative use of mixed media. Kanchan Chandra's work features in numerous publications, Vatsalya, Feminine Fables, Fair and Furious, Migrating Memories, and Revisiting the Popular, to name a few. Recipient of the Airfax Award for the Women's All India Show and the International Print Biennale Award, UK, Kanchan Chandra has participated in residencies at Braidwood, Australia, Fukuoka Museum, Japan, and attended art camps in Switzerland, Singapore, China, and many other countries. Her works are in collections of the National Gallery of Modern Art at Delhi, the Lalit Kala Academy, New Delhi, the Museum of Asian Art in Japan, the British Museum, the, and the Museum of Sacred Art, Belgium. Uh, good evening, dear friends. Uh, first of all, let me thank uh, the Chandigarh Lalit Kala Academy and especially my dear friend Devan Mana uh, for inviting me here and um, conducting this workshop. And I would like to uh, thank all of you friends to be here, especially Dr. Uh, Professor Goswamiji and my friend Nirupma who are here to have taken out their time and come here. Thank you, sir. Um, my dad was a diplomat and I traveled a lot with him. So my, my art education was in, started in Berlin, at which at that time was East Berlin, and uh, College of Art Delhi, and later to Santiago, Chile. So it was five years was stretched to seven years. So that's how my um, journey started. I'll take you back to some of my earlier works. Um, I won't show many of them because it, you know, I'm a total workaholic. I've done so much work. 
So uh, this is a work uh, I did in just when I left college. There was a uh, tragedy in the when I was in the final year. I had my only brother. I passed away. So um, this is the series I did when I came out. Uh, this is oil in painting. It's as you can see. It's me and my mother. Um, I became very close to her. That's another one. It's called uh, Mother and Daughters. It's uh, my mother, me, and my sister. I actually did my training in painting and printmaking. So I can very proudly say that I was a, a product and a student of Anupam Sood, I think, who all of you know. Uh, so this is uh, copper etching. It's an etching done on copper. So it's a copper etching. Uh, it was again that same period where um, uh, I was in the moods and that time I was very much in love with my ex-husband. So this is uh, that series I did, uh, copper etching. Another copper etching, it's, um, it's called Reverie. Um, I think those days I was very quiet and docile. With, with time and years I have become you know, more vocal and, you know, uh, the colors have started coming into it. But that time it was very monochromatic, the works. A uh, lot of works are autobiographical. You can see, as you can see, me as the model. Um, incarnation of Tolerance. That's uh, an etching I did in my college days. Uh, it's an etching on zinc. Incarnation of Tolerance which I got the title from Rabindranath Tagore's saying that a woman is an incarnation of tolerance. Um, I won't say that I was a feminist, but you know, I was very much touched by all the things which were going around, whether it was some relatives or whether it was the maids who used to come and tell us stories about what happened in their houses. So I didn't come out on the streets and did nare lagana, but it was my silent way of, uh, you know, saying it in the in the artworks this is one that's another it's shadow of death uh, also based on my brother again a copper etching uh, it's an etching again uh, encaged it's showing the state of a woman's uh, mind and her psyche when she's inside the house, woman crying. Uh, when I was in Chile, I also did a few more woodcuts. Um, I have been working on etchings, lithographs, and woodcuts. Another woodcut. Uh, though I'm a painter and printmaker, but due to you know, the reason that we don't have printmaking studios, uh, the access to printmaking is much less. So uh, once in a blue moon, I do go to Gurry and try to, you know, uh, make a few prints. So I think this is the latest one. I work a lot on um, sculptural forms. So whenever I travel, if I go to Khajra or if I go to Konark or Belur, Hassan, I always take pictures. I come back and sort of like recreate it in my own way, interpret it, reinterpret it, and do this um, works. This is again a new recent work. I'll take a jump of 10 years and come to 94. Uh, by that time, I was married. I had a child who was born in 1990, old parents who were ill. And I took up a full-time job in College of Art with these, all this multitasking and all these uh, roles that I had. It was not possible to uh, do printmaking so much. So my bent became more towards painting. Um, and um, I was already going through a turmoil in my personal life. And this is uh, a series I did. I did a series a lot on Devi's. So this is a Durga in me. I personally feel there is a Durga and Kali in every woman. Her compassionate is the Durga, and when she's in this ferocious mood, she's the Kali. So here's one. 
94 there was a workshop in uh, the Crafts Museum. Uh, it was arranged by Dr. Jutendra Jain and by um, uh, Alka Raghubanshi. So I had to do this store, so it was very funny because the person who was helping me do it was the person who used to make these ravans, effigies. So he could not make the curves. So that's why the, the torso which was made was a bit little, you can say a little, little masculine, you know, the curves were not possible. But somehow we managed. Um, I've always experimented with different uh, mediums. Here, as you can see, it's bamboo and cow dung, and then I painted on top of it. I recycled that same sculpture. My prints that were left over, which were bad prints, I stuck them onto the torso. So it became a torso upon the torsos. Again, uh, hung and dangling. 96, I made this work. Um, as you can see that I was get, I mean, my personal life was really going downwards and, you know, the all the emotions that were there were coming out in this. So this, this work particularly is called Adolescence, Womanhood, Motherhood and Beyond. Um, you can see there is a small, um, you know, this, this iron uh, thing which I made and I put water in it and I put uh, kneel around it. And here you see a, a plastic doll which was, you know, I put it upside down and I let her float in the water. Very symbolic work. This work was exhibited in Berkeley Mills College and it was debated, there was a big debate uh, about it. Um, so, it's 13 feet, it's very long. That's, uh, in 96 I separated from my um, partner and this is where I, uh, I did this series called Gathering Scattered Petals. Uh, work, it was a gouache and uh, in a way it's a, it's, a, it's a subtle Kali here I'm trying to portray. Those are two works, Kali in me and Kali Nouveau, both. 97, uh, I'm a big traveler, so 97 I went to States and I saw this uh, beautiful show, Retrospective, by Robert Rauschenberg. Um, and it really moved me. Uh, I saw the show and I came back and though it's, it's got nothing to do with him, but my series on the torso started. I wanted to show the, I wanted to depict the torso. I didn't want to tell who the person is. So that's why there was no head, no arms, no legs, because uh, the issues on women are universal. So whether she's Indian or whether she's American, it's irrelevant. So um, this, this series started uh, and you can see that number two there, it's, it's very ironic because I was born on second, married on second and divorced on second. So it was, um, so I just made this series here. That's another torso. You'll see a lot of torsos now. Now here you can see that I, I started bedecking the body. I started embellishing. Uh, so these are small chota chota gungrus which I uh, started sewing. But while I was sewing it, I wanted to cover up the whole, you know, the upper part. But I started having some eyesight problems. So I just made it into like a small bikini. So uh, this was the beginning of the torso series. This is again another torso. Very often when paintings come back home after an exhibition and if I see that I don't like it, I rework on it. So this is an old painting under this. I covered it up with silver leaf and then I reworked it. And I always feel that it's much more richer when the, when the paintings are reworked upon. Uh, I love hoarding things. So when I shifted to my Barsati in, in New Delhi, uh, there were these old doors which we got rid of. So I, uh, what we did was we, um, I kept these, these windows on my terrace for many, many weeks. 
and um, my father used to always say kya kabar rakha hua hai get rid of it but uh, one day i just got up and i just started painting on them i painted torsos of them i removed the glass i removed the jali put a ply and i started working on this uh, so the torsos on the window started which was actually quite a successful series and i i did a show of this very reluctant and very scared ki supposing it doesn't move how will i keep it on my barsati but fortunately it somehow moved and uh, this the silver that you see is actually very um, it silver has is oxidized because when it went to bombay and came back it just the color just totally changed in 96 i did a show called vatsalya uh, this is a uh, like i said my works are very autobiographical um i have done a lot of series based on my relationship with my son since i was bringing him up uh, alone um and doing this full time job so here he is also contributed by painting on it so this this uh, cupboard almost became this this window almost became like a a 3d form this you can see the door is open another one and i put these pedestals at the bottom so that you know it could stand and become like a separate piece of uh work another one uh this is this is an, another funny story because suddenly i got a call one day by dr geeti sen saying ki ek darwaza ghar mein pada hua hai uthana hai to utha jao so i ran with my broken fiat that i had picked it up and i brought it and i painted it so i put these nine torsos you know these these all these torsos nine torsos up there and when she saw it she said oh my god now it belongs to me so i said no way you don't get it it's it's mine so this was interesting so i mean whatever i see mai usko reuse kar deti hu i have this horrible um thing of obsession this is uh, it's a much later work 2006 but you can see how the the embellishment is becoming more and more intricate uh, these are the old notes uh, uh, coins all these are sequins um this is a bit whimsical i mean you can i think you can all guess the meaning i mean this the some of the things are the right places so you can ask me questions later yeah some vedna purushatva which i started this in 2006 this series but it's something where i felt that you know today the woman is doing multitasking she is she does the plumbing at home she does the electrical electrician's job and she is doing this um, housework and all and whereas the man is going to beauty parlors so the roles are sort of like mixing up so it's a pun it's a irony or pun to samvedna purushatva same one see it's much bigger series isme maine bahut sare if you can see here i mean uh, some you can't really see it's you can uh, i used a lot of my son's um, old toys wo chips ke packet mein aate the na tazo that stickers um even nails old nails so i i have used a lot of things a lot of it is in my mother's old sari okay that's another torso it's i don't know some people find it a little um erotic but i had fun working on this again it's an art nareshwar here you can see uh, the female part the female part i've put flowers and the male part uh, there are nails and um uh, what do you call nut poles and all those things i love color i really love color this is another work it's very subtle it's silver on silver silver work and i've worked with thick pigment on it again it's a uh, torso you do see a bottle here i love wine so i said why not let me just put it in there um uh, this is the with my due apologies to the men but this is the only male nail male torso i've made and i've um 
I have actually uh, put all nails, uh, so, uh, Adi, saw, hammer, uh, a screwdriver, and it's it's uh, and uh, surprisingly it was it was acquired by uh, a German collector, a, a man. So I told him I said I never expected a man to buy this work, but he's bought it. I loved working on this. I think it's it's one of my favorite work. Again, the torso. Pehle wale mein aapne dekha the flowers were inside. Now the flowers are coming out. Um, and this was actually, uh, you know, these colorful works were just after um, I chucked my job. I had a full-time job. I. It was again very um, male dominated. They could not. They were really sort of. I had. I went through a lot of mental torture. So I chucked the job without, without pension. The only regret is that I don't get the pension. But, uh, um, but you know, there was a lot of peace of mind. So I think ever when I came out of the college, there was these, these uh, flow of colors. You know, the colors started coming out because probably it was so claustrophobic to be in that government college. There's another one here. Uh, I love the Indian sculpture, so this is based on, this one was based on that uh, movie called Tal, just may I think Aishwarya Rai ka wo pose hai. So this is based on that, but I love that Tribhanga pose and I love that Lavanya in um, the Indian sculptures. This is going back a little bit. Uh, it's called Chistos and Kebabs for dinner. Like I said that with a full-time job, old parents, my poor son was brought up by only having Chistos and Kebabs for dinner. I used to come home, Chistos, Kebab, Chistos, Kebab. So every time I would cook a proper dinner, he would just ask me, Aaj kaun aa hai khane pe? who's coming home? So uh, this series, uh, I think all the works which I've done from my heart, truly are, um, I feel they are very strong works. This one is called Mother Mary. I've done two, I have only showing one. That's uh, me and my mother. The other one I have my mother, I mean me and my son. So it's, um, it's that's my son at the back, that's my mother and that's me. And I have the Gai Mata, too, symbolic of mother. Uh, yeah, I mean now the decorativeness was coming outside also. Uh, I love, I mean I love to dress up, I love to wear jewelry, so I said why should I not dress up my, my art. So here is another series. It's the Devi series which is continuing. Here actually uh, you can't see but this inside is all very intricate silver. Uh, decoration inside the body. It's the bliss. It's called the bliss. The Devi series. Again the Devi. Um, that's another, this thing to her toys and the river flowing through her. I, I think I've started, you know, all this, uh, the intricacy that I'm doing at the back, the lace, the the, it's like putting the lace. Is um, it's I think it's giving me so much of uh, it's it's very therapeutic, uh, therapeutic and uh, meditative. I feel I feel very um, you know sort of like at peace when I do these works. This is there's a show going on right now. It's called For Forms of Devotion, uh, curated by Sushma Bell. Uh, there's a museum in Belgium which has acquired uh, works on spiritualism. So this is a yogini that, uh, in, in fact, this image you might remember, I mean, it's, it's this yogini which has come back to India and it's been exhibited in the National Museum. So I went, I clicked pictures of it and the whole canvas is filled up with, uh, you know, sequins and beads and Swarovskis. So it's a very uh, vibrant work with all shimmering. I very rarely do abstract works, but here uh, in the abstraction I've tried to get uh, the uh, the torsos. So you can see the torsos almost sort of like floating. 
there is another abstract, semi abstract torso. Uh, this is a series I did last to last year. It is like with all the turmoil, with all the ups and downs in my life, uh, I have come to terms and I am just saying here, yeah, Mujhe Jeene Do, Kum Bhi Jiyo Or Mujhe Bhi Jeene Do. So, this is a series that I have started on that and I am very happy with that I finally have done this. It is basically, um, it is it's like I go a lot for walks. So, um, it is it's me in a sort of like a shell, but I am trying to say that just leave me alone. I want to live the life I want. This is the first of that I did. Those were my paintings. Now, uh, I have done a lot of uh, site specific works and installations. This is an Australian artist who had come to when I was teaching in College of Art. Uh, she invited me to Australia. We did this work and uh, all these works these are actually done on you know that bukram, bukram, the thin cloth and on the uh, the fly net, machhar ki jo jali hoti hai. So, this is done on that, it was very easy to roll it up, put it in two big tubes and we carried it all over the world. We went to, uh, we were in Canberra, we went to Perth, we brought it, we brought it to Chandigarh this show. It was in that art folio, I think in 2002. May art folio a gallery thi pe, so we did it there. Uh, this is another, you can see the transparency, it is so transparent. It is called Karolbagh to Tescott because I was born in Karolbagh, New Delhi and she was born in Tescott, Australia. That is another um, installation I have done. It is called Fables Retold. These are, these each disc is about 7 centimeters. It is very small. Uh, it is uh, again based on a mother telling her child stories, ek tha raja, ek thi rani and all that. So, this was again based on that and here you can see these are leftover toys which my son had uh, contributed. There is always a box in the house and he keeps throwing things which he does not want. Uh, so, here it is like kisi G.I. Joe ka haath, kisi ka pair. So, these are all works there, 105 works. You can uh, see this. Uh, later in 2009, I expanded the series and I added more works to it and this traveled to Germany, the show went to Germany. There is another one. So, some of the works are new uh, in this, yeah, I think this work is new, some are old. This is a new work of that, it's Hanuman with the scooter. This is another work. Here I did woodcuts. So, this is all part of that work you saw. Uh, with the sequence. Uh, this is um, taktis. I think most of you know what is a takti. In case you do not know, this is villages may they used to carry this takti to, to school, right, come back, apply the lap and then go back to school again. This is the time uh, I did this when I used to sit with my son and do homework. My son, I realized later, he was dyslexic. So, uh, that is why he was not able to study properly. So, the day I realized my whole attitude towards him changed. But this is a series based on that because we both hated that homework time. We would read it, but we had to do it. So, I, I again I made a pun and I made these, uh, these uh, you know, these taktis. Like that is that's his G.I. Joe, uh, that is me and him. That is another, oh, kya WWF aata tha us time pe. So, that is another one. This, this was quite a successful series also. In fact, people like the idea of uh, displaying the taktis. It is fun. I mean, it was so boring that time, but I made it more into fun. The same taktis was exhibited later in Canberra Museum. So, you can see uh, there are some taktis, some works on paper. What you see in front is another installation I did that was called Passion Possession. Uh, every woman likes to possess, uh, she is very obsessed and ob about her possessions, like she will not even throw a pin. So, I put my sh myself into her shoes 
And you know, you can see like here there's a safety pin. I went for my haircut and I asked the, the person, I said, can you give me all my white hair? So I put it in the dalia. And it was, uh, you can see, I mean, a lot of things here. You can see a mirchi. Uh, this is a thread. Uh, these are just things left in the kitchen. There is a hai, kahin pe chawal hai, uh, tea bags. Hai. This is a tea bag. So I basically put myself in her shoes and I hung them up in plastic sheets. There were quite a number of them, about 20, 30 of them, all hung. <coughs> so there's somebody who's looking at the work. And beach mein ye aapke lines uh, sequence ki hai just to give a, a break to that plastic sachets. This is how the work looked like. I mean, I've done it in different times. Like I, the previous work you saw, the one you saw before, I had taktis at the back. But here you can see the fables retold. So I've exhibited in different places. Uh, the same thing again. Okay. OK, I also do a lot of works on paper, small formats. Um, Again, it's, uh, it's based on mother and child, used safety pins. Uh, again, these are forms. This is a show I had in 2011 in, in Art Positive, um, Abhi Vyaktis. It's what, acrylic. Uh, you know, here you can see I, I use a lot of um, songs in my work, and especially the old ones, you know. Like um, this one is, I think, that uh, by what, what is his name? That Lotade Kagas ki Kashti. So, Jagjit Singh, yeah, that's Jagjit Singh's songs. Kabhi mene kabhi Pradeep ka lagaya hua hai gana ki pinjre ke panchi re tera dard na jane koi bahar se tu khamosh rahe bheeter bheeter rohe So there are a lot of songs, the, the lyrics I like. I always, because I can't work without music. It has to be either jazz or old classical or western classical. So jo bhi chal raha hota hai wo mere painting mein beech beech mein aa jata hai. Oh, pehle bhi tha, I think I forgot to mention that. That's another recent work, Abhi Vyakti. I just feel like flying. That's why the wings are there. <laughs> okay, so coming back to my mixed medias. Um, though I started in 97 when I sh told you about, um, uh, when I came back from Robert Rauschenberg's uh, show. So here I'm using the sculpture and the laces. Very small format. Uh, I've done a series on Frida and me. Frida Kahlo, the very famous American, uh, Mexican artist. So I started with this, but of course here you can see the, there's not much embellishment. It, you'll see later it's become more and more the embellishment. That's again for you. In every picture you'll find, you know, I had me somewhere. Of course, I'm a drop in the ocean compared to Frida Kahlo, but um, I just relate to her. I relate to her works. I relate to her life. I think she was a very strong personality and a strong actress. This is a later work, but you can see there's a lot of intricate layering here of laces, sequins, uh, paper cards. Uh, I make this thing on a on a face, and uh, then I embellish it with sequin, uh, with Swarovskis. Here, it's much more intricate. I think I just, I'm just loving the, uh, the mixed medias. That's me again. And it's, I think it's not only uh, even people are relating to it because she's in, she's a person who everybody recognizes internationally. That's another one. Uh, you can see here, this is uh, nuts and bolts, you know, which I use. Sometimes I use them. There's one, another one here. Here you can see I'm more in the background. 
but uh, you know every time I get somebody gives me a gift I said gift to chodo mujhe pane dikhao wrapping paper kaisa hai so I always like to see you know what sort of wrapping paper is there so I reuse it that's another Frida that's that's me in my childhood that's me now when I do these I first work on the Photoshop I take the images I I do the whatever playing around I want to do on the Photoshop take out printouts paste it on a hardboard and start embellishing it even the sourcing of the material I think it's 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 fun to do the sourcing of material if I go to old Delhi or I mean even yesterday I went Shastri Shastri Bazaar Shastri Nagar Bazaar so I was looking for material I always look for something which is new um, so everything I do myself I don't have um, any assistant helping me uh, it's again the mixed medias but here when I go to museums like this 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 image that you see it's from the museum MoMA Museum of uh, Modern Art New York so I picked this up and this is the same image upside down there's this torso here upside down um, and uh, I embellish it with feathers and uh, with a lot of other things So this is another series that I've done it's called the modern classics this is the origami paper very simple things I just pick up stuff from uh, very simple things. that's I don't know if anybody of you can recognize who this person is it's Shah Rukh Khan uska image hai so I've used these images and then I've placed these from the steel factory this is Shah Rukh's torso that one you saw was Frida and me this is me and Frida here I'm more prominent that's again if you can see that's my hair and that's my earring that's me inside the wine glass that's can anyone recognize who this is yeah and Frida that's Madhuri and Frida so I've done a lot of this playing around of half this face and half that face uh, it's quite a it's a big work okay then while I was doing Frida uh, Carlo and me series I got a little bored so I like to move on so one day I just started a series on Bollywood and uh, Meena Kumari I've taken the old legends old actresses who are, whom I have admired so uh, whether it's Meena Kumari Madhubala uh, Devi Karani or if you can remember if anybody remembers Gohar Mamaji and uh, Marlene Dietrich Marlene Monroe so in key photographs Lake I have uh, again photoshopped them and then I embellish them with this is all wrapping paper this is laces these are uh, I won't say buttons but what you put on you know what I find in the market sequins and Swarovskis Madhubala like this form here I just liked it so I picked it up from old Delhi and if you ever come to my studio it's got boxes and boxes of all this stuff a lot of stuff there lying there and some Marlin Monroe I always like doing this reverse thing this is uh, this one is Hollywood Bollywood Audrey Hepburn Vahida Rahman it's again I think you can recognize it's Audrey and can you recognize Madhubala so it's it's half half Audrey, Audrey. Uh, a butterfly I picked up from I think uh, Archie shop. It's it's like a transparent sheet with acrylic. So a lot of stuff. I mean this this I'm really enjoying working on this now. I'm just loving it. Marlin Dietrich. Uh ye ek wo hai wo aapko medicines ka 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, click nevala, that box. So this is that box and it's actually physically got uh, pills inside, medicines dali hui hai uske andha, ye bhi aur ye wala bhi. Um, this is a collaborative work I did. Uh, my son is also an artist. So this is a collaborative uh, work I did in 90, 2011. Uh, we, we, he was studying in UK, so he came, when he came in this vacations, uh, we painted this. And this, when I installed this, uh, we were on Skype, so I kept asking him on the Skype, ki ab yahan drawing kare, kya kare. So we actually were uh, away from each other, but we put up this work. This is, uh, I also do sculptures. This, these are aluminium sculptures. Fiberglass. It's my own hand, my own casting from my own hand. Again, I put sequence on this. Sequence. Sequence and these are Swarovskis. Oh, Papa, ye jab kar rahe the, to my, ha my fingers got stuck. So we took it out with a lot of difficulty, but somehow the person who was helping me was not, I think, that expert. Uh, these are steel sculptures. We had a, a stainless gallery had invited us to do a project. Uh, Alka Pandey had uh, curated this. So uh, I worked on this yin and yan two opposite this thing and we had to go to Manesar, the Manesar plant near Delhi in the Jindal's plant and we did this work there. It's quite big, it's, you can see it's about six feet high and right now I think it's in the collection of Hisar, uh, Jindal's Ka Hisar Hospital. That's another Devi I did. It's, it's again that lot of intricacy here. It was difficult because it was difficult to compile it, you know, together. There's a lotus at the bottom. Uh, these are a grid of 16 sculptures we did. And uh, inside, if you can see, it's, we, you can put light in it. So I did it in a more functional manner. So, I mean, I played around with it. Like this time it was displayed here, next time it was displayed in a different manner. Uh, that's coming to my um, latest works. Again, it's the torsos, but you can see there is much more fun element in it. Spoons, plastic spoons, Hanumanji, uh, coins, this is molly, uh, this is a wrapping paper. It's not be real beer mugs, but it's wrapping paper, notes. Um, and a lot of and lot of other things, a lot of uh, stickers and all inside. Here I have used uh, washer. The nalke mein hota hai. These are again simple things I found in that uh, plumber's shop. Keys. Uh, here there are no spoons. A few spoons are pasted, but I I painted the spoons and I put a sequence on it. <coughs> it's the Devi Nouveau. <coughs> this, is, this is a work which I think Divan also saw in the art fair. Uh, it's, it's lot of layering. It's the latest work. It's lot of layering and layering. And uh, these are buttons, sequence, my old brushes. Ghar pe jo bhi saman bacha hota karchiya, crater, wo sab lagaya hua isme. Uh, this scale hai, purana scales, ruler hai, or kya hai. This is some part I found, I don't know, it was lying in my kitchen, so I just stuck it. So I, I use a lot of these sort of things. Uh, these are metallic, uh, metallic leaf, gold metallic leaf, wrapping papers. Uh, so that's a lot of this thing. So that's it. And I will really be happy if you can. Uh, ask me questions and uh, feel free. Please don't go by my hair. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kanchan. Uh, most of the works are created in such a way they cannot be shown through photographs. You know, 
and maybe in future we would request the artist to come along with one or two of the original yeah. works yeah. so that people can have a feel of it. Like when Ranbir came here, oh, Ranbir yeah. came along with two of his videos. Oh. So we showed the actual videos, videos. you know, oh, uh, wow. displaying one of his paintings and the video being projected. Oh. So people could yeah, feel how yeah. the work is like. I so should have brought it, yeah. yeah we can do it later because yeah. we are, I think, not done as yet. Oh, sure. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, any questions? Please feel free. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll be talking about the latest work which you have just shown. Uh, since you're applying a lot of material which is not a part of the canvas, uh, how do you do you do some layering or something which uh, makes it more permanent as a work of art? Because there's always a chance of it coming out or something. No, what I mean I'm working from that? I'm working from Fevicol. Okay. I'm working from '97. Uske pehle bhi aaj tak touch wood mujhe koi complaint nahi aayi hai. But the layering. It's the how much your amount you use, and nowadays I'm using. Which I didn't even suggest to the students because it's dangerous. I use Fevi Quick. वो इतना strong है कि मतलब मैं कई बार ऐसे करके अपनी उंगलियाँ को हाँ it's very I didn't I didn't request here because you know we don't want anything dangerous with the students. They can use it on your no enameling or anything. No, no, no. It's the amount you use, which is you know simple Fevi Quick, Fevi Quick. Very amazing. They should I think give me make me the sponsor. Very nice. Friends, we have a workshop going on which we, I forgot to tell you. Uh, Kanchan has been kind enough to uh, or give us a three-day window in which uh, students of College of Art of MA, MA Part 1 and 2 painting, they have been invited to participate in this workshop and they are the, in fact, lucky ones because they benefited from the same thing when GRA Rana came in here for two-day two, two workshop. They are the same students and those of you who are interested you are very, very welcome to go into the workshop tomorrow. That is the last day from 10 to 5 p.m. Anybody can come and see and watch and talk to Kanchan and talk about the technique and anything else because it's a more, more of an experimentation which uh, people are getting used to because the idea is to open their minds. It's like like Nek Chand did, you know, mm. almost 50 years ago or many others did. Uh, but, but sometimes we are, you know, not really uh, so confident to use a particular material thinking, you know, when it looks like kitsch or it doesn't go well with the idea how to use it and being uh, in the company of an established and accomplished person like Kanchan, so their confidence level goes up and also some of the intricacies and technicalities also get cleared. So anybody who is willing, they are welcome. Anyone else please? Let me also yeah. add that the students uh, who were participating, they were, I must say, they were very receptive and very innovative. I was that, you know, how will they receive? But they were very quick and I'm, I'm personally very happy with the result that all of you have done. I think uh, it's, it's probably a, a beginning, it's probably a point where you can depart. So um, I'm really happy with all of you. Hello ma'am. Uh, you said during the presentation there was a big debate about one of your works. Can you elaborate on that? What was the debate and uh, about the work as well? See, Mills College is a women's college. So uh, it was a starting point where people started. That work is basically, uh, like I said, it was I was going through a bad phase in my life. So it was based on adolescence. When a woman is born, the first thing is, I hire ladki ho gayi hai. You know, I mean, that's the first thing which you generally hear in villages. I'm talking about not you and me or all of us. I'm talking about a common family. So uh, then she becomes Then she goes, gets married. Okay. She gets married. Then she becomes a mother. Okay. There's always a role she's playing. And then beyond, you know, if you, if you see a co common woman, she has no identity of her own. You know, I mean, even the housework she does, it's, it's unpaid for. It's most of the time it's ungrateful. So basically it was on that. You know in America there are a lot of, uh, in fact we, we, we women in India are a bit more liberated. They are, there are a lot of, uh, they are having a lot of problems the, in the West. So that's where the debate started. You know, ki, uh, you know they all started about this. So uh, it, it was a good point to start off.
my my question is all about i have seen some of your workers which it indicate is the male torso you are using the elements which are very sticky just like very uh, just like very sticky sticky whenever you ha hindi mein punjabi bol do hindi bol do do kaam aapke dekhe jin mein nails wagaira ka istemal kiya gaya hai ji 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 you done it intentionally or it is by incidentally you nahi ji nahi very much intentional <laughs> very much that is the that is the very much very much matlab uh, wo uh, aap log मैंने पहले ही बोल दिया ड्यू अपॉलोजीज टू द मैन सिटिंग हियर बट इंटेंशनल था क्योंकि वुमेन इज यू नो लाइक दे स्टिल सेंसिटिव बट आई थिंक लेट्स नॉट स्टार्ट बट आई एम ग्लैड यू पॉइंटेड आउट थैंक यू देखिए जैसे इन्होंने डन सम वर्क विज अभी हर्सेल्फ एंड फरीदा कालो पीपल है फीमेल यू नो लिबर्टी फ्रीडम and those kind of things so there uh, these are the issues which are still relevant you know we know i know in our family somebody who's who they're both professionals and uh, and the and the lady is probably senior than her husband but when she comes back home she does all the household chores the, the gentleman keeps sitting sitting whether you know a tea or coffee or water even water he doesn't even get up from his chair or bed you know so this this is still happening in today's india so so these these questions are very very relevant they really have to be addressed and that is probably why the female feticide happens as, as i discussed i think uh, in one of the previous uh, i think it was balan nambiar's lecture probably that here i i know a friend who told me that most of the times people who are responsible for killing the female child are female females themselves yeah, most of the times the dadis or nanis you know that's because true. they haven't had a good life to live they know what is going to happen to the female when they grow up they have suffered so much in life so this is the kind of question which is really you know which really needs to be addressed we are we are now you know thinking of going to mars if we cannot really make uh, women live comfortably you know with, dig, uh, with as a dignified person then what what all these achievements mean to us you know we have to address all these issues simultaneously of sensitive artists like kanchan you know and, and they they are using these materials not as as she answered that not by chance the because material itself is very important whether you choose wood metal you know bronze or paper or what kind of paper its softness its hardness its uh, you know other kind of significance is it all matters a lot when an artist chooses a material so every thinking artist does it so does she so we have to really look at the material because once you we go to the schools school teachers are sometimes also doing similar kind of work but then it becomes a bit techy because the teachers do not really instill that kind of you know content element into the minds of the students that what you do you should do it you know with a with a proper thought behind it as she, as she uses the this material to wrapping paper you know that is also a comment because nowadays the the presentation is becoming more important than the content itself i received a box of kind of a big box as as a wedding uh, you know invitation the box itself must have cost because a, <laughs> a, a printer who prints our catalogs because he he is also an expert in printing boxes i see a box being printed for 8000 rupees each and in the in the box the content was a small quantity of kishmish yeah, it was yes. not even 25 grams you know <laughs> so, so you can imagine <laughs> these kind of things so th when she uses the wrap wrapping paper it is not just by the uh, you know sake of fun that she is enjoying doing it only it, it is it has its significance anybody else please uh, you began by saying that your work is autobiographical and yeah uh, looking at it you know i think it is very strong the autobiographical indeed um you know my experience has been that writers and artists who uh, are of the biographical in their work uh usually uh, or shall i put it i mean they are introspective self reflective they go into their inner spaces try to find their inner voice it's like a bottomless pit and as you go deeper and deeper uh you find things that you weren't conscious of you know 
so the journey is so to speak inwards right hmm. uh, in in such cases mostly the work is not very experimental in its design mm -hmm. uh, or in its intent it's introspective on the other hand i mean there are others who are exploring the outside world okay um, and they are the ones who will not only discover new things in the world but will probably discover newer and newer ways of looking at the world so their work becomes more experimental I am not creating an artificial binary. But, no, no, you know, broadly right. speaking, you're broadly right. speaking, there would be introspective work and mm -hmm. there would be exploratory and experimental work. Right, right. What I find happening in your work is a combination of the two. And that that's, <laughs> thank you. That, that's, that's so nice. Uh, thank you very much. That's a little bit intriguing and uh, you know makes me curious as to how this actually works. Uh, just um, a supplementary to this, you know, uh, your work is autobiographical in the sense that it deals with major events in your life hmm. uh, but eventually it becomes um, uh, you know it identifies with a womanhood yeah. in general in you know you choose iconic figures uh, of women you know hmm. be that uh, Frida Kahlo or Marilyn Monroe or Madhuri yeah. Dikshat or who yeah. have you yeah. right um, and you, you said I found that remark very interesting that you know this is the only male torso I painted Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, exception actually sort of, you know, uh, making the rule stronger, so to speak. Hmm? Uh, if, you, if one again goes into the psyche of um, uh, women, I mean, uh, you know, I'm essentially uh, interested in literature and okay. partly interested in art. Uh, you know, you'll find what, what's called woman's voice or hmm. female voice in literature. It's hmm. usually. Uh, it's usually introspective, right? Hmm. Uh, women are supposed to kind of go on inward journeys. Men are supposed to be the explorers, Ex the hunters, the, you know, yeah. the, the, the ones who go out. Yeah, yeah. And that's where they will actually find new materials and new things and hmm. so on and so forth. Hmm. Hmm. So in a sense, you know, you're working with um, lots of materials, lots yeah, of them, very I'll unconventional I'll materials. Love, yeah, I love materials. It's actually going by the traditional thing, a very masculine thing to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 it could sound, you know, I mean... No, uh, actually, I've, uh, I've actually uh, had the, I had to uh, play the role of a man also in my, in my, you know, house. So, mm -hmm. whether, I mean, it's a very long story. I mean, but, you know, like we had uh, tenants and uh, who, when my brother died, they wanted to take Kabza off the house. Uh -huh. So, I, you know, what has made me this strong woman is because I, my sister was married, so I had to fight with them. So mm -hmm. I'm a Punjabi, but you know, Punjabiyon se larna to bahut bhi sarak pe aake hume larna pada tha. So it was, you know, it's it's been a turmoil. So its life has given you such that you, I had to play the role because my father was getting old, sister was married, no brother. So I I had to be the man of the house, you can say. Mm -hmm. So probably your it's a very good point that you're give, uh, making that probably the materials I'm using are. Yes, they could be masculine and feminine both, but it's because life made me do that. So I think it's a very good observation. Thank you very much. Most of you probably would not know that my uh, friendship with Kanchan goes back to almost 34, 35 years. Almost like the slideshow. <laughs> 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 because uh, when, I, when Professor Jagmohan Chopra was the principal of this College of Art, I was a student. Then, then he had invited, you can imagine, at such a young age, Kanchan and I think uh, Anand Moy Banerjee, probably the third one was Ajit Seel. Yeah, Ajit Seel. I Seen. remember having cups of tea on the lawns of this… Uh, same gallery here. <laughs> yes, yeah, same College of Art. So, we have, we've, we've been meeting in between, missing each other, knowing each other. 1982 or 83. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's about, I mean, it's about the particular work that I want to ask. It's, uh, there, there was a female torso. With, with greater on it. So usually with, with, glitter. with the greater thing on the vagina. So th this... Oh, greater. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you got this, it. this work particularly... I thought nobody I mean, will ask me that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had seen that work before and it, it, it intrigued me then as well. So you basically use hammers and chisels and nails in, in male torso and they're, they're organic elements and embellishment in female torso. But that particular work, work I mean me so can you talk more about it oh my god yeah. uh, well Sorry. I, think I hope it's, it's 
embarrassing. No, no, it's fine, but it's it's you can I leave it to your fantasy because it's uh, the creator is you know like I don't know. I mean, okay, let me be blunt. Sorry, but it's like बचारी को घिस देते हैं उसकी जिंदगी ऐसी है सो इट वॉज वेरी सिम्बॉलिक बट आई वॉन्ट टू डू इट इन अ फन एलिमेंट यू सी इफ यू सी माई वर्क दी अर्लियर वर्क वॉज सीरियस बट जिंदगी इतना सीरियसनेस दे चुकी है यार कि आर्ट में क्यों सीरियसनेस लाऊँ इतना सो आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट मोर फन एंड मोर विमसिकल एंड मोर यू नो आई मीन यू नोटिस इट वेरी फ्यू पीपल माई टव नोट दे लुक एट इट दे हा 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 यू नो करके चले जाएंगे बट यू नो इन द सेंस दैट आई लव doing this sort of thing it's a little controversial but uh, i use it you know sort of uh, all these materials i use like that not only the greater i think the wine bottle also it was right there yeah. the whole bottle in punjabi se puchiye puri dakar jao gatak jao bas mere khayal se chale chai piye just a minute मैम कोई भी पेंटिंग स्टार्ट करने से पहले हमें मटेरियल की एज पता करनी नहीं चाहिए कि उसकी कितनी एज होएगी uh, क्या जरूरी है उस एज को देखिए uh, हाँ मैं समझ मैंने मैं जब पढ़ाती थी तो आई यूज टू टीच मेथड्स एंड मटेरियल तो मैं उस पॉइंट से नहीं कह के बोलूँ कि आर्टिस्ट का काम नहीं ये काम रेस्टोरर का है <laughs> जो जो यूज करना है करो बाकी रेस्टोर किस लिए बैठे हैं <laughs> बट फिर भी थोड़ा ध्यान रख लो अगर आपको अपनी पेंटिंग 25 तीस पचास साल चल जाए ठीक है हाँ <laughs> बिल्कुल क्योंकि आजकल सबसे पहले लॉन्जिविटी की बात आती है आर्काइवल होने की बात आती है पहले काम में दम तो हो यार एग्जैक्टली अब नेक चंद के देखिए आप रॉक गार्डन में उनके इतने ब्रिटल हैं कुछ एक स्कल्पचर दे आर फॉलोइंग अपार्ट बट द ब्यूटिफुल और एक जिंदगी में उन्होंने पचास साल साल में एक दो करोड़ लोगों को खुशी दे दी या कुछ समझा दिया आप दे दिया काफी है यार काफी अब इसका क्या करेंगे आप देखिए आप इराक में क्या हो रहा है इजिप्ट में या बाकी देश वो इतना बढ़िया खजाना वो लोग यूं तोड़े जा रहे हैं मतलब लगता है कि एक जैसे स्कल्पचर की एक बाजू तोड़ा या हाथ तोड़ा लगता है कि उन्होंने लाखों लोगों का मर्डर कर दिया ऐसी फीलिंग आती है आपके अंदर उनका हम कुछ नहीं कर पा रहे और एक के बाद एक बामियाना से बामियाना तो एक है बामिया अभी देखिए अभी जो अभी वो कर रहे हैं पूरे के पूरे म्यूजियम्स उड़ाए जा रहे हैं एंड लुक एट लुक एट द पावर्स दैट बी दे आर नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग आई थिंक वी शुड ऑल मेक अ टाइम कैप्सूल एंड पुट इट इनसाइड यू नो वी शुड ऑल थिंक ऑन दोस स्टफ बिकॉज़ जिस तरीके से हो रहा है इट्स रियली सैड पर बढ़िया बात ये है कि करो और एंजॉय करो yeah. बाकी दुनिया में क्या बचता है क्या नहीं बचता है उसकी चिंता क्यों करें अपना नाम छोड़ जाओ बस जस्ट लीव योर नेम नो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू नो यू बिल Wonderful and kind